I did some night photography for the first time in a very long time um, with the X100V. Uh, yeah, this is the first time I've done any sort of proper night photography with the X100V. And just before we get into the video, I just want to remind you guys to follow me at Zane Reza Photo. That's where you'll find all my work. I post it daily. And I thought I'd show you guys the photos I got with it. It was quite a fun night. It's, initially, I wasn't going to film it. I was just hanging out with two other film photographers. You may have heard of them, Leo and Ribs. I mean, of course you do. If you follow my channel, you probably follow theirs as well. <laughs> we started the night off in a place called Dinorama. We got some food, um, chatted a bit, got to meet Ribs for the first time. The professional camera that he uses. Camera inception everywhere oh, you go. We're just going to be in such a mess, like such a nuisance. <laughs> And from there, we sort of went for a little walk around Shoreditch. I had my X100V, so did Leo. Uh, Ribs had two of his Canon um, SLRs. To be honest, on the night, I didn't feel very confident. I don't really, I've never really shot street at night. I've done it once before, but it's been a long time since I last did it. And everything just felt, I felt, uh, I just felt like a fish out of water, really, uh, to be quite honest. I'm used to my surroundings here on this side of London but Shoreditch is on, on the other side of London and it's just, I just felt, you know, the different vibe, different people. So I didn't really know how I was going to be received shooting street at night. I knew it was going to be fine, but you know, obviously that mental block was still there. Wow, what a beautiful phone box. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, new nighttime photographer boy. Yeah. <laughs> this is like photography gold right here. Yeah. You got some nice lights and colors and shit. I'm gonna take a lot of photos here. Oh, are you trying to model? Oh, I was gonna touch it, then I, my brain went, wait a minute. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I'm I surprised doesn't stick with you. You know what I was, I was gonna do, right? I you to lick it. I was not gonna lie, I was literally gonna grab it and go, Hello. <laughs> I'm surprised doesn't stick with piss. Though. And that's how you got coronavirus. <laughs> I feel like I feel like every phone box just sticks with piss, but... This one's kind of clean. Open. This, this is, is a the, clean one. This is the open one. Ah, that's why. You know what I mean? No one pisses in here because you got, you got four, you got only got three sides. And then there's us like last week pissing in those weird things. Oh yeah! What are those called? The urinal? I don't even know. Oh, the... the ones. Yeah, 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 the ones that just pop out, right? Alright, shall we? Thanks for indulging me. Oh, this guy's doing cool shit. Oh! <laughs> I was literally about to say, this guy's doing cool shit on his bike. And that's and why like, you don't. Having the other guys around me was nice. You know, we kept the conversation going, which is fun having hanging out, nerding out about cameras, nerding out about film and product jokes at each other. Um, it was fun just, you know, talk about what we liked about the film photography scene, what we didn't like about the film photography scene. This is like my fourth time, maybe? I, I like it. It tells me when it's on, <laughs> you know? It helped me. Yeah. I like... You guys oh, are too fancy with your cameras. Made of dough is the However, coming back after that night, I was really, really glad that I shot in RAW. It was only by manipulating the RAW files that I managed to get something that I was actually really happy with. As I said before, I'm not really that used to shooting street, shooting fast at night, so a lot of my exposures were off. Um, but having those raw files were a massive help because then I was able to recover a lot of detail and sort of get the exposure that I wanted it to and sort of manipulate the files and get something that I was actually quite happy with. Um, especially this shot of this couple um, cycling. Um, I just really liked that, how that one turned out. That shot of the hairdressers with the pink neon lights. 
that came up really nicely. Picture of that, um, I don't know what you, what you would call him, I guess a, a roadworks engineer, that shot of him in his van. He's framed by the van and is, he's illuminated really nicely by that light inside his van. The photo of the man outside the corner shop um, who was smoking an e-cigarette. I really liked how that one turned out. Special mention, um, although compositionally, I don't really like the background, but the subject matter was just so funny. The one with the guy who had that girl over his shoulder and just running away, it was quite funny. The way they looked at us, they're like, nope, nothing to see here, don't worry. They were obviously having a great time. It was hilarious. Um, and I'm really glad I got that one on photo. Um, didn't get a lot of footage um, recording it again. The whole point of it was just to hang out. Okay, Leo needs to pee. I don't actually. <laughs> He's a liar. He's a big oh, fat boner. So if I did <laughs> this... Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we'll wait after this time. <laughs> oh, that pub doesn't look... Oh my god! <laughs> boys. Close. Boys will be boys. I'm going to make an editing helper. Hey. This is a family go, 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 go. channel. Just take photos, talk shit that kind of thing. So I didn't really film too much of it. Uh, what was also really cool was that we bumped into a, another YouTuber. He's a French Canadian guy. He stopped us for a couple of interviews. Turns out to be a model as well. So he was kind enough to let us take a couple of portraits of him. Um, his hype man, his other guy, was also pretty mad, uh, pretty funny guy. Um, that's just the beauty of, you know, just having a camera on you in London. You're always gonna bump into something crazy something funny something hilarious um you know spontaneous which is why i always carry a camera with me next day i just so happened to be going back to shoreditch so i want to show you guys the photos i got in shoreditch during the day you know sort of that day night comparison same location, um, you know, totally different vibe, totally different, just totally different pictures. This time I didn't have my X1V, this time I had my Canon A1 and I loaded it up with some Fuji Pro 400H. <laughs> Shortish is a really artsy, creative place and you know, when you go to a completely different side of London, the, you're always going to find completely different types of people, completely different outfits and all that. And I think these photos really showed that. did the standard thing that you do in Shoreditch and just walked around all the independent shops. And along the way, whilst Claire was window shopping, I was of course waiting outside and just snapping the people who walked by. And I was really happy with some of them, um, just the outfits, everyone's just so well dressed there. <laughs> Some of the, one of my favorite shots from the day was the shots that I took in this shop. Um, it's just like a general good shop. They just sell really, really nice, beautiful household items. <laughs> And at the shop at Labour Await, I picked up a new little thing for my wallet, a little EDC. Um, yeah, I love a bit of EDC. And it was basically just a multi-tool. It was really cheap, only five pounds, but it was made of really, really nice, like it was all metal. I don't know, it was aluminium or something, but it, it was just really, really nicely made. And for the price, like, 
you know, you just couldn't beat that. <laughs> I just had to, I just had to cop it because it was just so nice. I love, I love a bit of EDC. Um, of course, along the way, we've got some coffee. <laughs> photos I was really happy to get were the portrait of these two, uh, this couple, and I actually saw this couple um, earlier on in the day. Uh, they were cycling. Luckily, just as we were leaving, they were unlocking their bikes and he heading off home as well, and I just had to stop them and ask them for a portrait. Um, initially, the guy was asking, you know, why did I want to take their photos? And, and when he said that, I thought he said, oh, you can take my portrait. And I took my camera, I was like, oh, no, I didn't. He said, no, I didn't say you could take my photo. I asked, why do you want to take my photo? And I was kind of embarrassed. I explained to them, that, you know, I'm just a hobbyist photographer. I just take photos of Londoners for, as, a, as a hobby. And he was like, oh, okay, cool. So I took his photo. Um, and I also took his girlfriend's photo because I also really liked her outfit. She's a bit shy, a bit timid, but she was a, a good sport. So that was basically it. I just wanted to show you guys just more of my street photography. I don't, I feel like I don't show enough of it. A lot of my street photography is, you know, basically for the past six months has been dominating my Instagram. So please check out my Instagram, uh, follow my Instagram. Yeah, I post there daily. Hope you enjoyed that one. Like, share, comment, all that good stuff. Share this with your mom, share this with your mom, share this with your mom, share this with your dad. And with all that said and done, boys and girls, keep learning, keep shooting. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.